Hey guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting to Rain's episode 9 of No Guns Life. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Okay, not what I was expecting, but okay. Um, that guy. Okay. I wonder if those two are going to come back in today's episode. I mean, it would be nice because I want to know more about those two women. Well, gun woman and female. So, hopefully, they come back. Yeah, let's just basically say his shit came back to haunt him and, you know, he got hurt for it really, really bad. Mm -hmm. But see, we also know that Olivier was in that car, so... We still need to know if Olivia is okay, but... <laughs> mm. 
Mm, might as well go ahead and kill yourself now because you might be failing once again. And honestly, I wouldn't want to turn into a gear, so. Ah, uh, those two. <laughs> I mean, Bella, you hear her voice. You kind of got to assume that she's behind you. Well, she just lied. I mean, come on. <laughs> <laughs> this weird as uh, somewhat of a cult possibly Are we actually going to go see her? Yeah. 
but he can be useful. <laughs> exactly. So you gotta take him in. <laughs> mm. But damn, you didn't have to do that to Mary. Sure. So you need possibly a regular chocolate. You know, you're gonna want legs and everything. It's complicated, ain't it? He's curious. He wants to know. So it's a possibility he's dead. Why would you still want to look for him? What's wrong? Oh. 
I mean, yeah, of course. Look at his like thigh. <laughs> it's like holy crap. Mm. You wouldn't describe your good paying job? Mm -hmm. But I'm guessing something happened to her, right? What did you just say, though? Medicine? You know Tessa was coming after her ass, right? He should have died from that fall. Um, uh, guys, come on. You don't really need to fight over this. Um... No! Yeah.
even say that he was gonna help you. Okay. Oh, hi, Mary. Oh. So then he is still alive, possibly. That's cold. See, I knew we couldn't trust his behind. Come on now. The fact that he, like, stole that medicine and stuff, and even with the fact that he came in, collapsed and this like that, I was like, mm. something about him was not right. And bam, right there. You can't trust anybody. But I think, you know, if Mary goes back to Cole and talks to him, about her whether she could maybe find him i don't know i mean it's like it's just a clue and she just has to go in head first try and figure out if maybe he has answers but i don't want tetero to get involved with this because now you know juzo is gonna get involved because he's gonna have to get him but of course you know tetero's gonna be stupid Tizzo and Juzo are both hard-headed as hell, and they're going to be stupid, and they're both going to go at it for two different reasons, and then Mary's going to come in because Mary wants to know more about her brother. I am glad that we got to learn more backstory on her for today, because I think ever since Mary has come in, I've been wanting to know a little bit more about her, but not every episode goes into her, and I'm okay with that, but to finally have something else on her, thank you. Good. Loved it. Um, Pepper and the... Um, the female kind. We're just going to call it the female kind because I don't remember her name. I want to know more about them. So it's interesting that they're working with Cunningham. And I feel like Cunningham, he's going to die. I felt it, it's coming. I mean, come on now. Like, this, this is his last chance. As I was saying, this is Cunningham's last chance to essentially prove to this big, uh, and it, to me, I think the voices who was all there when they were showing the corporation and all the people there, I feel like those voices belong to that people in that giant tree or person form looking thing that these two robots, like, it, it is, you know, some ish be going down at that company. I mean, you know, you want to be on the fly on that wall wondering what the hell is going on because I think... You know, whatever it is, it's also connected to Tetsuro. And Tetsuro having that vision with Colt, you know, after touching him, Colt possibly has something to do with it. Maybe. I'm not really, like, I have nothing really to go on it. Just a little feeling that I have. But maybe, and I feel like Tetsuro is only really going to help because he has questions about, you know, his little vision that he saw. So, I don't know. I mean, it's damned if you do, damned if you don't. I mean... There's good and bad decisions on why I think he's going to go in it. Same thing for Juzo and same thing for Mary because Mary wants to know about more about her brother. Tessa don't wants to know about his past and Juzo's just Juzo. Juzo's going to do stuff for like certain reasons and he's going to get involved in shit. Either that's going to be with Tessa's situation or Mary's or even possibly both because they're all going in here for three different reasons. And so I'm guessing we're not going to know until next week. But I feel like Pepper and the female gun, they're going to come back next week to essentially stop Juzo because Pepper apparently now has a liking to Juzo. And so she's probably going to do everything in her power to kind of stalk him. I'm glad Olivier is okay because it, it's still a little effed up because I would have liked to maybe see if she was in the hospital because she's got to be in the hospital. Where else is this chick going to be after literally almost dying? <laughs> but Armored was the only one who died. But surviving, it would have been nice if we would have had a scene with her 
in the hospital. Juzo checking on her because, you know, they, of course, Juzo cares for her in his own special way. Not more of, like, a love interest, but there is a lot of sexual chemistry between the two. And every single time when I see them together, it's like, oh, my God, why haven't you two just done it? And it makes me wonder. I'm like, yeah, how how would you, you know, how <laughs> be intimate with a person who has a gun for a head. I mean, you know, there's a lot of unanswered questions that I wanted to know ever since I started watching this series. And I was like, yeah, how do you, how would you do that? Like, you know, I have a lot of questions about that. And I would like to know curious minds. I'm probably not the only one, but a lot of us probably want to know. But, you know, we're probably never going to get into that. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to you towards episode 9 of No Guns Life. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Thursday for episode 10. Bye, guys.